Japan, separated by 6,000 miles, but sharing someone remarkable. And now what do you call these? We just call it a head. <laughs> and that is a head. The head. Six feet and 1,200 pounds of head. And the brainchild of artist June Koneko, who works here in Omaha. Now Omaha is known for Warren Buffett, Stakes, and your art. You know, Warren Buffett and Stakes, I agree. My art, maybe I need to catch up a little more. <laughs> Koneko set up shop here 25 years ago. It's his wife Ree's hometown. Since then, he's been rewriting the rules on the shape and size of ceramic art. I call it the spiritual scale. I'm trying to make pieces strong enough to pull viewer into it. Then you become one with it. Kaneko was born in Japan in the months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. He showed promise early on, and at 21 came to America to study painting. His host family, it turns out, collected ceramic art. And Kaneko's focus soon expanded from two dimensions to three. This is painted and glazed. Yeah, okay, and, but it needs to go through its second fire. That's right. His breakout works were called dongos. That's Japanese for dumplings. They resemble huge vases with the tops closed. The goal isn't just to make big pieces per se. That's true, because it takes so much effort. You better make sure the piece is going to be good. So don't make an ugly big piece. Take those big heads, for example. Why this face? When you're making face, it looks like the person who is fabricating it. I used to have a Korean assistant. I think he built this one. Uh, one here, one here. At 71, Kaneko now leaves the heavy lifting to a team of assistants, like Garrett Rainick, who grew up only a half hour away. How great is that, that one of the masters of ceramic arts happens to live in Omaha? Yeah, I always tell people, like, you know, I'd go anywhere in the world for this job, so, like, it's just real lucky that <laughs> I'm at home, essentially. During our visit, he was painstakingly assembling Kaneko's latest big thing, tanukis. Tanuki means raccoon dog. It's the name of a small animal popular in Japanese folktales. The heavy clay slabs are fitted and formed from the feet up around a hollow core. Each tanuki takes more than a year to complete, spending as many as 22 days in Kaneko's giant kiln. He hand paints each one. You just want to run and hug them. Yeah. <laughs> this summer, 21 tanukis, along with 13 dongos, are on exhibit in Chicago's Millennium Park, offering an irresistibly hands-on art experience. Kids must love this. Oh, yeah. They really go crazy. Kaneko is rarely far from the studio. He lives just across the street where his walk-in closet is filled with his prized Hawaiian shirt collection. Whoa, these are nice, man. He's got 400 of them. When you are hungry, this, this is good. You're in the mood for a little lobster. <laughs> Do you ever wear a Hawaiian shirt when you're doing your artwork? No. Never? No. While he may not design shirts, he has moved beyond ceramics. He spent two years designing the costumes and backgrounds for a San Francisco opera production of Mozart's The Magic Flute. All the scenery was projected onto screens, groundbreaking for a major opera production. With his international acclaim, Kaneko is deluged with requests teach and show his work around the world. But when he is on the road, he really only wants to be back home in Omaha. I evaluate everything based on can I add extra time in the studio? Because that's what I really want to do. Without my studio time, 
it's not even worth for me to be alive or 